across A, B, and B, C have diameters of 4 mm and 6 mm respectively. If the 3 kN force is applied to the ring at B, determine the angle theta so that the area's normal stress in each rod is equivalent. What is this stress? So you are given, so here is the figure for it, and you are told that the normal stress in rod AB is the same as the normal stress in rod BC, and you ask to find the angle theta. Okay. So what are you go? What do we do? So the strategy is to use what you are given. What are you given? Okay. So you are given normal stress in rod AB equal normal stress in rod CD. So we are going to start with that. So normal stress is equal to the f normal force divided by the area. So we have FAB. So here is my free body diagram. FAB divided by pi over 4 times 4 squared equals FBC divided by pi over 4 times 6 squared. Okay. So multiply pi over 4 on both sides. And simplify this, I got FAB equals 4 over 9 FBC. Okay. So keep in mind this because this will help you solve the problem. Now, we have two unknowns. Cannot uh, do it. Cannot, uh, can't do anything. Now, let's do the summation about y. So let's do that first. Summation about the y-axis is equal to, so you have uh, this 300 kilo newton, 3,000 newtons, break it down into x and y components. So I have negative 3,000 times cosine theta in the y direction plus FBC times 3 fifths and set that expression equal to 0 because we are in equilibrium. Then you solve for, then you found that. So I'm going to, um, so I have simplified this. I have 3,000 cosine theta equals 3 over 5 FBC, okay? Here's another expression equation so keep in mind that again now take the summation about x-axis I have negative FAB because pointing to the left minus 3000 times psi theta to the left and plus uh, 4 over 5 FBC okay equals 0 so I have so I saw for 3000 psi theta that gives me 4 over 5 FBC minus FAB. Okay? And what is. So you have two unknowns here FAB and FBC. But previously we know that FAB equals 4 over 9 FBC. So I can replace FAB by 4 over 9 FBC, which gives me 16 over 45 FBC. Okay? So this is another equation of 3000 you need to remember okay well you don't have you don't actually you don't need to remember just keep in mind that all right now i have cosine theta side theta fbc fbc okay so what i'm going to do is to utilize these to solve for the unknown and what what unknowns am i looking at i'm looking at theta how to so remember you, if you have psi over cosine, that gives you tangent, okay? So what I'm going to do is to take this, divide by this. So I have 300 psi theta divided by 300 cosine theta, which is equivalent to 16 over 45 FBC divided by 3 over 5 FBC. FBC top bottom cancel out. 300 cancel out. Psi over cosine is tangent. So I have tangent theta equal 16 over 27. Then I found the angle of 30.65 degrees okay so we done finding the angle theta now what is the normal stress well back to you can uh, back to either one of these so before you do that you need to find the force in rod ab and rod bc okay so let's see uh i can pick this or this so let's pick this because uh, the normal stress in those rods are the same so you can find either fbc or fab so for me, I did FBC. So I have 3,000 cosine theta, and theta is 30.65 degrees equals 3 over 5 FBC. So I found FBC equals, I figured out FBC is uh, 4,300 
1.45 newtons. Okay, since I know the force in the normal force, I can find the normal stress by divide that by the area. Okay, so let's pick uh, since I am looking at FPC, I need to find the area of FPC, and uh, area that area is pi over four times six squared. Okay, so I end up with 152 megapascal for the normal stress in rod AB and rod BC. That's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.